Hey! In this short guide, I'm gonna go over our edit image with AI feature. I prepared three examples. The sketch, a photograph, and the stylized character. I'm gonna start by clicking edit image with AI. This is a step you can take before actually generating the 3D model. For example, if you want to make changes to an image beforehand. We're gonna start with the stylized character and we're gonna click edit image with AI, which brings us to this model here. Here you can see the image has been loaded into the model. Now in this case we want to change the spear to be an X. So we're simply gonna say change the spear to be an X. Now we could either directly generate the variations, but in my case I want to improve the prompt first so the results are better. Now that we've got the improved prompt, we can simply hit generate four variations. This will give us four different results. We can now choose the one which we like best, in my case it doesn't matter much, so we can just use this one. And we can then generate a 3D model, we can turn on detailed textures and click generate. Now let's go over to our second example, which is this photograph here. We're also gonna hit edit image with the eye. And here, now we want to turn this into a figurine we can put on our desk. You could use any photograph for this. So we're gonna say, turn this character into a Funko Pop like figurine and maybe to make the 3d generation easier we can also change the background and environment so we're gonna put him in the studio like uh, lighting and now we can click improve prompt again to improve the prompt and after a few seconds the improved prompt appears here we can now choose different models to use, in my case let's use the seed edit one, and then we can click generate four variations. And after a few seconds the results will appear in the right side here. Now we can choose one which we like best, in my case let's use this one, we can click use this image. Now let's turn on detail textures and let's generate this one again. Let's go over to our last example which is the sketch, we will click edit image with AI. And here we can choose another banana, this one's fine, and we can say turn the stylized sketch into a 3D character like a Pixar or Disney character. Now let's also click improve prompt so we get better results. And after the improved prompt has been created we can simply click generate. That will then turn the sketch into a stylized character we can use for the 3D generation. Now that we've got the four results, we can either choose one we like, or we can adapt the prompt to get different results. For example, we would want the color of the armor to be different, or the face to be different, the style, the environment, etc. You can all change that. In my case, we can simply go with this one, we'll set detailed textures to true, and we can click generate. Now let's check out the other two examples we just generated. Trust this one. You can now simply change the format into other formats or you can segment the model into parts, you can download it directly as GLB or as SDL and you'll find all your generations in the dashboard. The other one also got generated. Let's check out the textures and that looks pretty nice. We could now of course also edit the image and say hey add a pedestal under it so we can put it on our desk. Um, or do other edits like change the face, change the color of the shirt and much much more. Let's wait for this uh, generation to be finished and I'll skip to the part when it's done and I'll see you there. Great, now this 3D model has been generated as well. You can download it as GLB, as STL, we mesh it to different formats and let's check it out without materials real quick. It looks pretty solid and it's also stored in your dashboard right here. If you don't have an image to begin with, you could always use the Image Studio to generate, uh, generate images. Sorry. Um, for example, you could generate characters, you could generate assets, busts, stylized images. You could basically really generate anything you want, from photorealistic styles to stylized models to figurines, anything. Um, and you could use the Edit category then to edit images, for example, changing poses, changing styles. Um, if you have a style in mind, you could use the style tab where you can upload reference images which then define a specific art style or style in general um, where you can then generate a new image based on that style. So there's a lot to explore, I hope this short guide was helpful and I'll see you soon.